Blue Origin's BE-4 just hit 290 tons of thrust, officially surpassing Raptor 3's 280 tons. After years of playing catch-up, they finally won the raw power contest. But here's what doesn't make sense. Every expert still calls Raptor 3 the dominant engine. How does Raptor crush BE-4 while producing less thrust? SpaceX's engine runs at 350 bar chamber pressure versus BE-4's 140 bar. Starship packs 33 Raptors for 9,240 tons total thrust, over five times New Glenn's power. So why does this pressure difference matter so much? Let's dive right in. Let's break down what's really happening here, because this story goes deeper than most people realize. Blue Origin spent 25 years developing the B-4, 25 years of testing, refining, and gradual progress before their engine finally flew on New Glenn and Vulcan. Now they're celebrating a major breakthrough, boosting thrust from 250 tons to 290 tons through improved propellant subcooling. This upgrade allows BE-4 to handle higher internal pressures and temperatures without compromising reliability. But does this achievement actually change the competitive landscape? Not even close. And here's why. SpaceX isn't standing still. While Blue Origin celebrates reaching 290 tons, Musk has already announced plans for Raptor 3X and Raptor 4, both targeting over 300 tons of thrust. The gap Blue Origin just closed? It's about to reopen, and wider than before. This reveals something critical about engine design philosophy. Raptor's architecture makes scaling almost effortless, while BE-4 requires fundamental system overhauls just to squeeze out incremental gains. The real domination starts with chamber pressure. Raptor 3 operates at 350 bar compared to BE-4's 140 bar. That's not just a number on a spec sheet. It's the foundation of everything that makes Raptor superior. Higher chamber pressure delivers better specific impulse, improved thrust to weight ratio, enhanced fuel efficiency, and crucially, better reusability characteristics. The engine stays smaller and lighter while generating massive power, which slashes both manufacturing and operational costs over time. Think about what this means in practice. B4 needs to be physically larger and heavier to achieve similar thrust levels. More mass means more material costs, longer production times, and higher expenses for every single engine. Raptor achieves more with less, and that efficiency compounds across thousands of engines. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, engine count. New Glenn's booster uses seven BE-4 engines producing roughly 2,032 tons combined thrust. Starship's Super Heavy Booster? 33 Raptor engines generating 9,240 tons. Even with BE-4's upgraded thrust, New Glenn can't come close. Starship produces more than five times the total power, and that advantage exists because Raptor's compact, high-pressure design allows SpaceX to cluster engines in ways Blue Origin simply cannot match. But raw power is only part of the story. The real genius of Raptor lies in its simplicity. Starting with Raptor 2 and accelerating dramatically with Raptor 3, SpaceX stripped away complexity. Small, intricate components were removed, redesigned, or integrated into simpler assemblies. Each iteration looks cleaner and more streamlined than the last. Walk around a Raptor 3 and you'll notice how elegantly minimal it appears compared to the maze of plumbing and valves covering a BE-4. This simplicity creates cascading advantages. First, production scalability. SpaceX aims to manufacture multiple Raptor engines per day once full mass production launches. A single BE-4 historically took months to complete. Blue Origin must now supply engines for both their own New Glenn missions and ULA's Vulcan program. Can they accelerate production fast enough to meet demand? The complexity of their design suggests this will be extraordinarily difficult. Second, reliability improves dramatically. Fewer components mean fewer failure points. The simpler the engine, the lower the risk of mission-ending malfunctions. Remember Blue Origin's first booster landing failure? The complexity of BE-4 contributed to that disaster, requiring nearly 10 months of corrective work. Raptor's streamlined design reduces these vulnerabilities by orders of magnitude. Third, post-flight operations become vastly more efficient. A simpler engine is easier to inspect, repair, and refurbish between flights. 
Technicians can identify and resolve potential issues faster than with a complicated engine like B4. This directly impacts reuse rates. SpaceX can turn around boosters in weeks, while Blue Origin is still learning how to recover theirs successfully. Every stage of the engine lifecycle benefits from simplicity. Design, manufacturing, testing, operation, inspection, refurbishment. At each point, the time and money SpaceX invests drops as Raptor becomes more refined. These cost savings accumulate into an insurmountable competitive advantage. Blue Origin's recent announcement outlined ambitious upgrades beyond just thrust. They're implementing reusable fairings, redesigned lower-cost tank structures, and upgraded thermal protection systems to reduce turnaround time. The second stage is also getting stronger. B3U engines will increase from 72 tons to 90 tons each, and Blue Origin claims they've already hit 96 tons on the test stand. The NG3 mission carrying the Blue Moon, Mark 1 lunar lander will be the first to benefit from these improvements. Looking further ahead, Blue Origin plans a Super Heavy New Glenn variant with nine BE-4 engines on the booster and four BE-3U engines on the second stage. This configuration would generate approximately 2,610 tons of booster thrust. Impressive on paper, but still less than one-third of what Starship delivers today with current Raptor 3 engines. Here's what really matters. Blue Origin is fighting to catch up while SpaceX is already planning the next leap forward. Raptor 3 isn't the ceiling, it's a stepping stone. Musk stated that future Raptor vacuum variants could reach specific impulses of 380 seconds. That level of performance would cement SpaceX's lead for years to come. The Methalox engine competition is heating up globally. Blue Origin and SpaceX aren't the only players anymore. International competitors are emerging with their own methane oxygen designs. But when you compare the fundamentals, Raptor's combination of high chamber pressure, compact design, production simplicity, and upgrade potential creates a moat that competitors will struggle to cross. So yes, Blue Origin temporarily won the thrust battle. They deserve recognition for pushing BE-4 to new performance levels after decades of development. But thrust alone doesn't determine superiority. When you examine chamber pressure, engine count capabilities, manufacturing scalability, reliability, reusability, and long-term upgrade paths, Raptor dominates every category that actually matters for the future of spaceflight. So here's the bottom line. Thrust numbers make headlines, but they don't win the race. Blue Origin's BE-4 hitting 290 tons is impressive after 25 years of development. But Raptor 3's 350 bar chamber pressure, radical simplicity, and ability to scale to 33 engines per booster? That's what defines the future of spaceflight. SpaceX built an engine that's cheaper to manufacture, faster to produce, easier to reuse, and simpler to upgrade. While Blue Origin celebrates catching up, SpaceX is already engineering Raptor 4 with over 300 tons of thrust. The gap isn't closing, it's widening. This is why understanding the engineering fundamentals matters more than reading spec sheets. Real innovation isn't about matching numbers. It's about building systems that compound advantages across every metric that matters. What's your take? Can Blue Origin fundamentally redesign their approach? Or is SpaceX's lead already insurmountable? Drop your answer in the comments below. If this analysis gave you a deeper understanding of what really separates these engines, smash that like button. Subscribe to Space Update 24 hours and hit the notification bell so you never miss our breakdowns of what's actually happening in the space industry. We cut through the hype and show you the engineering reality. Thanks for watching and remember, the real story is always in the details.